I'm going to start this off by showing you how to update your CRLU. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come here to the GitHub page for Verk's URLU. Going to want to click code and then download zip. Once this downloads, go ahead and open it. Now, you just come in here and most often the folder that is updated is this util folder right here. Typically, the only things that are updated is in the util folder. So what you're going to want to do is open up your bot folder, delete the old util folder, and then move the new util folder over to the old one. Now, what is a stack? A stack is the system that Verks ERL uses in order to keep track of which routines it needs to run. What a stack is, is it is a last in, first out system. So how it works is we have our stack, which is self.stack, and this is a list. And this is going to be a list of routines. And I will show you exactly how you either push or pop routines a little later. So let's say you have your list and you have a go-to routine. Now let's say that this go-to routine wants to do a flip. So it pushes a flip routine to the stack. Now, this flip routine was the last routine pushed to the stack. However, it is going to be the first routine that is executed. And then only once this flip routine is done, then the go to routine will be executed again. What would this look like? Well, if we want to push a routine to the stack, then we're just going to do self.push routines dot and then our routine that we want to do. In this case, it's going to be go to. As you can see here, now we need to pass in our target. And this is just going to be our target variable that we created last episode. And then after this, we can specify a target to try and face once we reach this target so for example you could put in ball and while we are driving towards this target we would try and face the ball or we could try and face the enemy net while we're driving to the target i however i'm just going to leave this blank next we have the break option by default it is false but if you set it to true your bot will start to slow down to near zero when it gets near its target However, I'm just going to leave it as false. Now that we are using this go to routine, we don't have to use this default drive util. However, there's still one more problem. Routines take more than one tick to execute. So what this means is that we will just get a pile up of a ton of go to routines in our stack. So instead, at the beginning, we're going to do if self dot is Clear. This way, we only push the go to routine when the stack is clear. So now let's see how this looks in game. Here we go. As you can see, it behaves pretty much the same, except our bot will now utilize flips. However, one flaw with this is that the go-to routine is meant to drive towards a stationary target, not a moving target like the ball. In order to remedy this, we are going to create our own custom routine that can drive towards a target that moves around. In order to do this, we are going to create our own folder. We'll name it CUtils. And then in here, we're going to make this file, underscore, underscore, init, dot, i. Now that we have this file, create a new file, we can call this routines.py, mirroring the routines.py in our util folder. Here, we're going to want to do from util.agent import verks erlu. Then we're going to want to do from util import routines. This will give us access to all of our other routines. And now we're going to want to create a class. We're going to call it ATBA, which stands for at the ball agent, which is a fancy way of saying something that is a ball chaser. Now we're going to define our initialization function. We're not going to accept any parameters except for self. 
we're going to say self dot go to equals routines dot go to. And here we're just going to pass in an empty vector as the target as we will be changing the target. Now we're going to make a new function called run. And this is going to accept variable agent instance of works ERLU. And now we're going to want to modify go to's target. I'm going to say self dot go to dot target equals agent dot ball dot location. Since go to is only designed to drive towards a static target, if we simply change its target before running it every tick, that basically makes it drive towards a dynamic target. And if you notice here, we're doing agent.ball.location instead of self.ball.location. This is because instead of the Burke's ERLU instance being passed through self, it's actually being passed through the agent variable. We are actually going to do the same right now with the goTo function. We're going to do self.goto.run agent. And there we go. Now we've created our custom ATBA routine. We're going to come back here. We're going to say from cutil import routines as croutine. If we just did import routines, then that would be a name conflict with this routines. The reason that we're putting our custom routine inside its own folder instead of the util folder is because, as you saw earlier, when we were updating Virx ERLU, we deleted this util folder and then dragged over the new one. If you happen to put your custom routines inside this util folder instead of its own custom one, then you're going to end up deleting your custom routine. So now we're going to come back to here and we're going to change this up a little bit. So instead of this, we're actually going to say if self.ball.location is less than 300, then we're going to do self.push croutines.atba. Otherwise, we're going to do self.push routines.go to and we're going to give it the target of our own goal. Oh yeah, and in cutil routines.py, you're going to have to also import vector. Now you might see an issue with this already, however we'll get to that in a second. Now let's see what this looks like in game. And here we go. Now they're gonna both head back to their own nets. Now they're gonna turn around. They're gonna head towards the ball. Who gets there first? Pounds it into Orange's end. Orange heading back to his own net. Now he's going for the ball. He's going for the ball again. He's keeping on it. Ooh. Now Orange is heading back, but you can see the issue here already. Orange continued heading back to his own net. Meanwhile, the ball was on the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new function called get stack team name. And we're going to return self.stack zero. So we're going for the first item in the stack and we're going to do dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore. What this is going to do is it's going to return the name of the class. So, if it were this routine, it would return ATBA as a string, or if it were go to, it would return go to as a string. So now we're going to come back up here and we're going to once again change some things up. We're going to get rid of that is clear. Then we're just going to push the routine to the stack. Otherwise, if the stack isn't clear, but self.get routine name equal go to then we are going to first clear the stack and then push the routine to the stack then we do this again but 
Instead, we push the go to routine. And there we go. Now let's see what this looks like in game. We should see that they dynamically change between their ATA routine and heading back towards their net. As you can see, now they're heading towards the ball. Now they're going to both head back towards their net. Oh, and Orin scored. Look at that. Look at this. Beautiful goal. Blue just couldn't get there on time. If you noticed, these bots actually rendering anything. This is because tournament mode is not. What tournament mode is, is, well, it disables rendering. However, it also enables your bot for hot reloading. What hot reloading is, if we do print hello, and then go back to the game, we don't actually have to start a new match. As you can see, without starting a new match, the bots were hot reloaded, they're now spamming hello in the console. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Well, now we can head back to the game and the console. We will see they were hot reloaded and they were no longer spamming hello. If you want to change this and you still want to debug your bot, just come into the util folder, go to agent.py, and you will see right here, big letters, tournament mode. To change this from true to false, and let's start a new match and head back to the game. Now the GUI pops up and we can clearly debug the stack. See, it says go to, ATBA, go to, ATBA, heading towards it, and oh, look at that. This time, Bluebot actually gets the goal. Nice job, Blue. There's one last thing that we can do here, however. Instead of doing go to self.friend.location, we can actually say routines.retreat. This will do is it is, it is basically the same as saying go to self.friendgold.location. However, if multiple bots retreat back to the net at the same time, the routine will try and space them out so they're not all heading towards one point. So now I'm just going to change this last little place. And here we go. You should see them do their little ATBA. And then they're going to both retreat back to the net. And they're actually going to go a little inside their net, as you see. And they're going to stop on the point as well. And they're going to head back to the ball. Hit. The retreat. And as you see, bot went to the goal post right here. Because ball is over here. Now, the bot's going to get to ATBA. Boom. And as you can see here, they really aren't getting any closer than this to the ball. This is actually due to go to routine kind of says okay you're close enough to the target this is of course a problem when we are trying to touch the ball however we're going to solve that in the next episode of Burke's ERLU where instead of using the go to routine we're going to be using dedicated shots like aerials double jumps and jump shots Hope to see you then. For now, be sure to like and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss the next episode. Because that is going to be by far the most fun that we're going to have in this entire tutorial.